everybody so these are my guitar lessons so in general in today's lesson in general we are gonna talk about the guitar and we're gonna just talk about the parts of the guitar in this first lesson so the second lesson is gonna be a bit different so it's gonna talk what are you gonna expect more in the guitar and everything and the third lesson is gonna be already showing you the positions on the fingers how you're gonna read them online when you're looking at some things and everything so I'm gonna learn you just the basic things and later through the lessons you will see how to learn let's say how to read every songs in general just the basic not the notes for now that's gonna be later later let's say so what's the thing so in today's lesson I'm just gonna show you a bit about the parts of the guitar and I'm just gonna talk, tell you a bit in general about the guitar so let's just talk a bit about the general things so of course the main thing is gonna be to practice that's always I'm gonna show you, let's say, how I was doing the guitar lessons in my country in Croatia in general, the basics. So I'm gonna show you the simplest way, let's say, how to learn every part from the positions on the guitar to a song. So it's gonna be like literally step by step. So let's say I'm just showing you, let's say, people how to learn the guitar and let's say a way that I would like someone to show me, let's say, because I was learning on my own. So that's how I do my lessons in general had a lot of success and everything so that's why I'm just doing the things now online because like I said I'm not doing the lessons one by one anymore so that's that's the way that I like to do lessons in general one by one because when you have a group you can't you can't just come to one person and the others are just a bit neglected neglected you know so they are not learning on the same pace same same tempo and everything so that's a bit the difference that's why I like one on one so everything's equal, everything's good and great, and I can just focus on one student. That's why the lesson's like this, let's say. So what's the thing? In general, me like me, I play a lot of styles on the guitar. Play more than 15 styles. So literally you will see how you start to learn the guitar and everything. You will probably have two, three styles that, that you're listening, or maybe more, but, but how you learn the guitar a bit more and more, you get a bit curious, you know, like in life. So let's say the things like that, things that you're learning on the guitar and how you're doing some things on the guitar, it's basic things that you're doing in life, let's say like that, a bit of logic and you get the things all together. So the more styles you know, the better progressions you know, so the better positions you know, more positions, more variety of the positions and that helps a lot, let's say, with everything. Because again, you're learning a lot more, so that's the thing, same in life, if you, if you know just one thing, you just know one thing, when you know more things better for you, better variety, bit of difference and everything. So, what was the thing? So today, I'm just gonna show you the basic. What's the guitar made up? So, the guitar, like the guitar, as you see, it's rather simple, it's not too complicated, let's see, when you look at it and everything. So, the, car, the guitar is generally made up, the head, so this is the head, this is the neck, this is the body. So I'm gonna show you what's on the neck, what's on the head, what's on the body. So what's the thing? Have the head, right? On the head, you have the tuners here. So these are all tuners that help you tune the strings on the guitar. Of course, you know that these are the strings, logically, let's say. So, what's the thing? Oh. So, then we go here at the neck. And the neck, you have the nut here, it's here at the top. So on the neck, you have a fretboard. So this whole part here is called the fretboard, the brown part in general. On the fretboard, you have these small lines. So the small lines that you have, metal lines, they are dividing the frets. So let's see, you have the line here, right? So here to here is the first fret. This is the second fret. This is the third fret, fourth fret, fifth, fret, sixth, seventh, and on so, and on so. So this is gonna be important. So remember this, the lines here, they're dividing the frets on the guitar neck. So that's gonna be really important. You're probably looking for these marks here on the guitar. So you can have them here, and you also have some marks, you see them on the neck. Get a bit closer, so see the marks here, here. You will see the marks will help you later when you're doing some of the basic positions. So that's gonna help you because this is the third fret, third fret, the 
Knights of the Threat, this is the 7th, 9th, and 12th. General, and you do with the acoustic guitars and everything. Uh, the base, the base, uh, the basic guitar is gonna have 12 frets. That's normal, so that's okay. The classical guitar too. So this one, mine, mine has 14 frets. So this is an electric acoustic guitar. It's a bit different, but you can find acoustic guitars with 14 frets and everything. So we sold the neck now, right? Now we're gonna go to the body. On the body, this is the sound hole. Basic body, of course. Side body, back body, of course, and everything. This is the bridge here. You'll see the ending on the guitars here. And this here is the bridge saddle. Bridge saddle and you have the bridge knot. So they're a bit helping with the strings to get the tune and everything. That's why they're there. That's the main part for the strings. So now that you know about the body of the guitar, now you know a bit better what to do and everything. When you, someone tells you, oh, the chord starts, or well, the position, position of the whole thing starts on the first fret, second fret, third fret, and also and also. So these are the basic things that you need to know about the guitar first now, in the beginning. So that's just the first lesson. It's just this a bit to get you a bit to know what is the guitar in general. And the second lesson is going to be a bit different, so I'm going to show you what can you expect a bit on the guitar and everything, and it's going to be a bit more of the guitar things. So, First lesson is this, so now you know the guitar body and now we can start what it's on. So, and one thing that I always say to my students when they start start in general, uh, so this these are metal strings here. Usually I tell to everyone to start with the classical guitar just because of the strings. They have nylon strings. With those strings it's going to be easier for you in general with the fingers, with the feeling. Because with metal strings it's going to be a bit harder. They're gonna hurt a bit, and with the plastic strings, nylon strings, it's not gonna be that that bad. And then let's say after a while, when you get used, when you get the grip on the guitar and everything, to do everything easier and everything. So after a while, you just change them to metal strings. So that just let's say a piece of advice that I usually do with my students. But if you want to try with the metal strings, of course, nobody's telling you, you know, you can't do that or anything like that. So you can try it and everything. That's horrible ones. But my advice is always to start with the plastic ones because it's gonna be easier. So nylon strings. Any questions or something like that, you can contact me here through YouTube or on my Facebook site. It's gonna be uh T E J A N M A R I C. So that's gonna be my Facebook site in general. It's gonna be probably gonna find my profile maybe or maybe my general site so everything's gonna be there so even the lessons are gonna be there and everything you, if you need some advice you can contact me there or through YouTube and that's that so any kind of questions at all well later you're gonna see stage by stage how I'm gonna talk in the lessons and everything's gonna be a bit simplified everything's gonna be step by step there's gonna be a lot of talking because it is important in general to get you know the things a bit easier and quicker Everything. Thanks a lot and see you on the next lesson.